Today, readers are responding to the news that the LCBO will resume stocking Norman Hardy wine, six months after halting orders in the wake of widespread allegations of sexual misconduct. The wine and people working there did not attempt the sexual misconduct. He has to defend himself in court of law and pay the cost personally and not the employees of the company. People can refuse to buy the wine if they feel strongly about this but it is not job of LCBO to replace the courts in Ontario. L Browser I disagree with some of the comments below. The Alcohol and Gaming Commission guidelines which is the basis of Mr. Hardy's license to sell wines requires that he act with honesty and integrity. He has not acted with integrity in his dealings with his employees. To say that we don't know what happens in other workplaces so we shouldn't enforce in this case is like saying there are a lot of people who steal so the robber who is caught should not face consequences. And finally, to the person who characterized sexual harassment as an issue of political correctness, I say, with respect, you are wrong. Sexual harassment in the workplace is toxic for all the employees and needs to be called out. There is no easy out here. CLAS and the LCBO is the monopoly provider in the province. The government should not be in the business of making such morality judgments. The conduct of Mr. Hardy and the quality of the products his winery produces are two separate things. It should be up to consumers whether they choose to boycott the latter because of the former, not the government. Adam Tgem preventing someone from making a living seems inappropriate in almost every instance of misdemeanor. For the LCBO to not sell his wine punishes NH himself, but also his employees who would lose their jobs if the winery closed down due to being unlisted. Surely there's a better way to respond to his unsavory behavior. Let the punishment fit the crime. Persenium what else readers are discussing today, they approve Site C but stand firmly against pipelines. They embrace the giant LNG project and then cut the legs out from under the petroleum producers. This is what blowing and sucking at the same time looks like. Pundus in response to Pundus, no, this is what making a sensible plan to allow development and cut greenhouse gases looks like. The Site C completion allows this. They don't want dill bit. Process it near the sands and you have a different story. Beans Maroc if BC were serious about reducing greenhouse gases, they would cease to be the largest exporter in North America of thermal coal. Chris J. Phillips There's probably nothing more frightening than a politician, a bureaucrat, a government, that thinks they're saving the world. Ramsey Zero Finally it sounds like we're about to get a plan to move to a lower carbon future. We may not like what we see in a few hours but it will at least be a plan, which is something no one has yet prepared to go along with their criticism of our fossil fuel consumption. Next step is to see how much extra cost the plan will impose, and who will bear this cost. BMRSEC from the comments is designed to highlight interesting and thoughtful contributions from our readers. Some comments have been edited for clarity. Everyone can read the comments but only subscribers will be able to contribute. Thank you to everyone furthering debate across our site.